trust me, I've, trust me, I've been to these tenants' yards. The um, the bed will be in the middle of a small room, and like you know, you got the pendant light that hangs from the cord. Yeah, I will need to fix it, and I can't get my ladder in because there's just no space to open up and erect this ladder. And I'll say to the tenants, if I haven't already got shoe covers on, yo, I'll put on shoe covers. Can you get a little old towel to put on the bed or an old sheet to put on the bed and I'll step on the bed? Because there's no way I can't put a ladder on a bed. There's no stability and I can't open up the ladder because the bedroom is too small. They're like, oh, don't worry, just climb on the bed. I'm like, what, without shoe covers? Like, yeah, don't worry about the shoe covers, just climb on the bed. It's laundry day tomorrow. I'm like, God, I don't give a fuck. What? It could be D-Day, it could be Doomsday. Yeah, it could be Armageddon. No one's climbing on my bed with their trainers. On, what are you talking about, fam? Man, talking about it's it's, it's uh, what you gonna call it day to, um, tomorrow laundry? Don't give a fuck if the I don't care if the Russians were coming tomorrow, bro. I'm not, no one's climbing on my bed with trainers on. Yeah, it could be doomsday. Still ain't getting on my bed with no Ross Club trainers on. I go to people's yards, I see cats walking all over the work surface and that. And you are offered me a tea, blood. Are you mad? I phone up some of these people, yeah? And I'd say, yeah, I'm going to get to you in like 30 minutes. Or I'm 10 minutes around the corner, whatever. And <clears throat> obviously I say to them, look, when I come, I'm going to need to switch off the power for like 30 minutes, yeah? Sometimes it's longer than that as well, but it just depends. I need to switch off the power for 30 minutes. Just so they're prepared, because some people are working from home, innit? And they say, oh, you need to switch off the power for 30 minutes. I say, yeah. They're like, oh, well, when you come, do you want a cup of tea? Nah, it's all right, mate. Yeah. They're offering me a cup of tea before I get there, before I'm able to scope out the situation and see how dirty the yard is in there. And it's always the dirtiest ones as well that offer you the tea over the phone. No way. No way. I see them, them people there use their, like they'll use the same spoon for about two years without washing it. And that's what you want to serve my, me my tea with. Must be crazy, blood. 